Hi everyone, Miss Mortimer here with lesson number two on your high register on the clarinet. Hopefully you have already warmed up a little bit by playing some low notes. If you haven't, I would do that first. And then we're going to start with the same exercise from last time. So what we call our twelfths, going from our low note up to our high note. So we're going to start off with G, six fingers, and then add on the speaker key on the back when it's nice and strong to get our high D. So let's play G to high D. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Next one up, A to high E, three, four. And now B flat to high F, three, four. And if all of those are now working okay for you and you've tried a few tunes that have got D, E and F in, we're going to learn one more today and that is our high G so that's the same fingers as our low C, just this hand. And then when we add on the speaker key, it becomes a high G. So let's give that one a go. Nice, strong low C using lots of air. Here we go. Three, four. And if it's the first time that you've tried that, just try and hold that high G steady for a little while. Okay, when you're happy playing your high G, let's have a look at a little tune that I've put together to help us practice it. So we can see that reading our high G is actually quite easy because it sits right on the very top of the stave. So it sits above the top line on the stave. That's our high G there. So the first two bars of this tune go B flat, F, 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 C, high G, high G. So again, keeping the fingers the same, just adding on the speaker key to get to the high note of each pair. So the first two bars, here we go. One, two, three, four. And then we've got F, E, D, E, F, two, F, two. Okay, bars three and four. Find your high F if you need to play a low B flat and find that high F first, do that. One, two, three, four. Second line, we start off on a C this time. We've got C, G, 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 B flat, F. F. So it's like the start, but the other way around. Here we go, second line. One, two, three, four. And then all tongues this time. G, F, G, E, F, two, F, two. Okay, last two bars. Three, so give that another quick practice. If you're struggling to get your high notes to come out straight away, remember you can always take a run up from the low note. So those last two bars, starting on a high G. So I'd play my low C first, I'd go. And then if I need to again. Absolutely fine to take a run up from your low note just to get the air moving through the clarinet and help you produce your high notes without having to work too hard. Okay, next thing we will look at a tune from your Abracadabra book. So find number 85, Blue Mist. We're going to take a break from playing the high notes and clap the rhythm first. So we're in 2 4, we've got two beats in the bar, and we're in quavers, so it'll go 1 and 2 and quaver, quaver. Here we go, let's clap the rhythm to blue mist. One and two and quaver, quaver. One, two, rest, quaver, quaver. One, two, and quaver, 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 quaver. One, two, rest. 
Remember the tiny little things are your quaver rests, a half a beat rest, just long enough to grab a quick breath. Okay, notes, we've got F, F, E, G, F, two. Let's play that, do a run up from your B flat. One and two and Next bit, F, D, E, F, G. Again, you can do a run-up from your B-flat if you need to. F, D, E, F, G. Those finger patterns are a bit more tricky. To slow it down a little bit. One and two and. Have two minutes to read the next two bars on the second line. So we start out on a G, and we've got G, G, F, E, F, F, E, D. Here we go. Again, do a run up from your low C if you need to. Second line, one and two. And the last two bars, I'll let you read them. So we start on an E, two fingers in the bottom hand. We have E, G, F, E, D, two. Okay, last two bars. One and two. Okay, so practice that a little bit and then when you're ready, let's play it all the way through. Here we go. One and two. Okay, great job, and um, one more tune to practice your high G's, it's another little one that I've made up. I'm going to start out on an F, and then have a go at just reading the first two bars. So we've got F, E, F, D, E, F. Here we go. One and two. And have a go at the next two bars. We've got E, G, F, E, G, E. So lots of E's. One and two. Okay, so now let's have a go at playing the whole tune. Fab, so there's three quick tunes to help practice your high G. So now you know D, E, F and G. Remember, it's a really gradual process to get your high notes working. So if you're struggling to get that high G out, just add lots of air, keep everything really relaxed. And if it's still not working, come back to it another day. Just keep practicing them a little and often and they will come. Okay, enjoy. See you next time where we're going to look at C and B.